Hey there guys, this is Projeraj I'll be welcoming you all to another gameplay of Hogwarts Legacy So right now, feel free to enjoy So let's go Let's head on to that Time to purchase our broom I wanna see what you have for upgrades over here and I, and I'm so curious, I wanna check it out Hello again, wonderful to see you As before, I've arranged a special price on the Ooh, broom upgrade for you Enhance the significant increase of broom acceleration speed You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Before that, I sell some items. No way, I got 11,000 in my hand. Student of Hogwarts. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinder's infiltrating the place. However... If you're flying high above them, you should be all right. I think. They don't I'm not scare worried, me, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find a Melda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. So I need to go for another race. So it's another race. Five thousand meters. Can we check our world map? Whoa! You know, it'll take time for me to travel here to there. But I might change some quests we purchase. I might do this later on. Let's talk to Poppy for now. Perhaps I could test out when you upgrade on the way. Whoa, fuzzy it. I can test it out. Yes, fine enough. Let's get into it. I did test it out. It's like, it looks fine. Hawksmith, Hogwarts. Okay, she's right on top of the bell top. Right, travel from here on out. Why the person on the bell tower? It's too far for me. Okay, the person pissed right now. Can hear you can hear a person talking over here. Like you don't know where is it came in from. Whoa, it's a raven claw. You should have to enter inside here. There's some stuff inside here. Let me also. You should have to enter through here. Rebellion. Now they got some stuff inside there at the Ravenclaw's domain. I can enter it. Hopefully one day can be entered. Our Ravenclaw mansion. Yeah. 
What if he sticks like this? What? Don't be silly. It's all Revelio. Well, I think. You think? It didn't before. That other boy was like it for a week. A week? I, I don't feel well. Oh, stop fretting. We'll have you with Nurse Blaney in no time. <gasps> I've just realized. What? What is it? I have an essay I need to finish for bins. Two inches. Merlins, I haven't done mine either. Uh, what? Don't leave me here. Oh, no. Did you memorize the dates of magical they left him. and goblin rebellions? Not yet, no. Where are you going? You can't leave me here. You'll be fine. I'll check on you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Uh. Oh, Very no. You'll be a week like that. You'll be stuck there permanently there. I bet there's nobody going to rescue him. Poor guy. They might take him down tomorrow. By then, how are you going to survive? Can I check something out? Rebellion. The light. There's no token over here. The last two tokens. Maybe be somewhere. Look, there's something over there. Is that a... Look at a flu flame. We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade and we will devise a plan. Yeah, okay, they got some mission that came out. I might do... Let's see... Not Sai, Sai mission. I might do her Sai mission first. Then I might go to Professor Fig. How far it is a person My friends and I lose track of the time when people were at Why do students always run when Peavesy wants to have some fun? The last time I it's a portrait. I thought it's something else. Hey, what? How far is this a person is? It in. How to test this out? Yeah, he's, he's fly like similarity, but I think. Oh, good, you're safe. There you are. You were in such a state when you left. The poachers got to my gran. Someone recognized me in Horntail Hall and they got to her. What do you mean? Is she alright? She's fine, thank goodness. But they were at her house, our house. They assumed I'd sent the egg there. She said they took the whole place apart looking for it, screaming that we'd cost them everything. I'm sorry, Poppy. I'm glad she's all right. I don't think either one of us could have anticipated that. I should have known. I underestimated the poachers. And now another creature's in danger. What do you mean? The poachers refused to leave empty-handed. So they took valuable journals that Gran had discovered when she was researching rare creatures. One of them contained theories about a secret hiding place of the Snidget, long thought to be extinct. Exactly what kind of creature is a Snidget? It's a small bird with golden feathers. It's incredible. It has rotational wings that allow it to dart quickly in any direction. In fact, the golden snitch in Quidditch is based on the Snidget, which barbarically was actually used in the sport hundreds of years ago. Why would Snidgets be valuable to poachers? They could make more money with Snidgets than they ever would have fighting dragons. The golden Snidget's feathers and eyes are incredibly valuable. That's why they're believed to be extinct. They were hunted out of existence by wizard kind. If the poachers found some now, I can't bear to think about the horrific way they'd be bred and killed for profit. Where exactly are these Snidgets allegedly hidden? 
Gran says the journals were a bit cryptic, which is good. Perhaps the poachers won't be clever enough to find the birds. From what she recalls, the journals only noted that the key to finding them lay in the moonlight. Gran thinks it can be narrowed down to a handful of locations. I take it you aren't going to let the poachers anywhere near the Snidgets? Gran wants me to stay out of it. But I know she's devastated that poachers might go after the Snidgets, if they still exist. We had the element of surprise on our side when we saved that dragon. But the poachers will be watching for us now. We need allies. Others who hate the poachers enough to help us, who value creatures as much Merlin's as- Merlin's beard! You're genius! The centaurs! They'd want the Snidgets protected at all costs. Yes, talk to centaurs. Sounds as if we need to go and talk to the centaurs. We'll need to be careful in how we approach them. Tensions with them are high. Still, I think they may be our only hope. Let me think on it. I'll let you know as soon as I have a plan. All right. I may go to in this grass. In this wonderful, taking all the fleas. Let's travel to Hotsmith then. Wait, what? Where is the mission? You know what? Open the world map. I don't know where is it. Outside of Hotsmith. Oh. I mean, I think I might travel to entrance a bit. In front, like a walk. You know, ask me no choice, you get to walk. We cannot even open a broom. Natty, out of my way. You want to push the guy? Can you use this skill over here? Can I push the person over here? Oh, oh. Push the kit. Push another kit. Sorry about that. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Webb. All right. I what? suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe. But his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Yeah, I'll speak with Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. So they're all inside in Hogsmeade. All three of them. This will be interesting. I gotta speak with Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. There's a place I need to climb on top. Oh, that's it. There's a stairs. The wood stairs.
Look at that person. What have I done? Daisy Rabe. Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give. And my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Okay. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickles' other two friends. Mr. Bickles and Otto Dibby. They have a good name. I presume it's like Otto Dibble kind of it's very hard to pronounce the name. Hopefully I pronounce it right. Uh Gabus Otto Dibble works at Gladrax. I should check there. Uh, but, 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 but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. 
I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? Okay, the right track. How to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. The last of us of Miss Agabus Agabus Pilbert. Why his name is so hard to pronounce? Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. There you see. He's Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. You see that, Miss she wanted Professor me to speak Fick. out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. And so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> Perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core, still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. Now to find her. Eh? All of this. Mr. Bickle friends has been spoken, so now we might find Natty to solve this Lockwood Hollow, Hollow problem. She always sticking outside. That's cool. Do I need to wait? It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the hog's head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Let's go to the Hawks. Huh. Did something just happen? Hopefully not. Not losing another friend. Where is he? Where is it? No, I'm stuck over here inside this wall. 
that he must be around here somewhere. Hey, how can I push on this? Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Revelio. We just follow the footprint over here. Nighttime will be nice. You can see clearly the dark. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> can see more clearly in the dark. But I know it's a daytime, right? Kind of difficult. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Ah, Ashwinder hideout. The footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. The hidden door. Yep, the hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. More chest. Revelio. All the opposite side over there. Ah, got people. Let's be sure I'm not seen. How many people down Revelio. here? Revelio. Talking good guns and blazing. Arrogant enough to come in here alone. Just keep an eye out. Is that you, Roylance? Hey. Help me out of My friend, burn it all. <laughs> Is there more people around here? Revelio. Oi. <laughs> the book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. The guy just left his friend to get perish. He likes standing in the middle of, wait, at the steps. Is that a beginner back potion? Nope. You know, it shows something. Revelio. Wait, he's, he's just sitting down. Let 
Let's be invisible. We going up. We going up. Oh crap! Oh crap! What the heck? Someone over there. Where did you go, coward? Afraid to face me. Aha! Back for more. <laughs> You know what? Hit him everything he got. <laughs> oh, we need to get it. We draw our first draw. We hit at the same time, but sad he's dead. He been goodbye. Is there something down here? More rats. In this game got a lot of rats. And spiders. I need to loot more stuff over here. Need more gold. Oh, the same place. Just a shortcut over there. Revelio. Okay, there's a chest right above me. I haven't looked. Oh, there's another. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. You might keep it. I don't see what the opposite side of the chest over there. Where the chest? Natty has been captured. We're doing a rescue mission right now. There's a sheep get locked. For what reason? The sheep. Natty must be here somewhere. What is this ruined for? You found us. I knew you would realize I had left my wand for you. Speak to Mr. Rain. He will tell you what you need to do. Revelio. Oh, there's an invisible chest over here. Oh, it's Gorbrips 1. Mr. Rape, Daisy told me you've been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you alright? I am alright. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. 
Just stand back. We we might stand here. What are you doing over there? You just shoot a normal shot only. Look at him. Look at him wearing. He's like a. He shot like normal to me. Hey, everyone, running. Let's get out of here. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. What? Prepare for a fight? In these doors? Absolutely, yes. In this door, I sure got people. Man. Come and check. No, even got smoke or so. Definitely, somebody gonna come. Looks like nobody over here. Revelio. Looks like there's nobody to fight with. Haha. <laughs> They're like scared of me now. Let's Do find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Yeah, let's put it once and for all. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashbinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe, to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, Understood. officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. <laughs> this is going Thank to be nice. Thank you for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. We have completed. Victory spin. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Okay, we can go to the Forbidden Forest. Forbidden Forest. So I think I might conclude this series. So the next series we might go to the Forbidden Forest. So I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Feel free to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. And I'll be seeing you for another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. So that's it for now. Be safe and see you guys in the next walkthrough. Thank you.